guys, so I wanted to bring you another tutorial today, but this is going to be more of a talk through tutorial as opposed to a voiceover, which my previous one was. So I wanted to do it a little bit differently, and um, it's not really a get ready with me, although we will chat a little bit I guess, but I have nowhere to go, so I'm just going to be hanging around my house after this. So this look is really going to be a very neutral, natural holiday look. So, you know, you're going to be photographed probably a lot during the holidays. You want to look pretty. You want to pretty yourself up, I'm sure, as we all do. But maybe you don't want to go like full glam and like full sparkle and glitter and gold and all this stuff. So we're going to keep it toned down a little bit, and uh, but it's still going to be very holiday appropriate. So this is also going to be all drugstore. Now, there's two things I'm going to cheat on. One is going to be my under eye corrector because I only have one, so I can't use a drugstore alternative, um, but I know they do exist. And number two is just brushes. I have here as many drugstore brushes as I could find that would work for this look, um, but I don't, there, there are a few higher end brushes just because that's what I use. So I thought, let's just cheat a little bit with the brushes. but. Other than that, every single product here is a drugstore affordable product, okay? So let's just get started. I'm going to start priming my skin, and this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I've used this quite a bit in the past. I really like it. It's kind of like a silicone based primer, and um, this is not going to help in mattifying at all, but it is, you know, just one of the pore primers that's going to smooth out your pores a little bit, help your makeup go on a little bit nicer and stay on. And that's a really good thing when you are um, at a holiday party or a get together, you don't want your makeup melting off your face after, you know, an hour or something like that. So like I said, here's where I'm going to cheat. This is the Benefit Erase Paste. Um, it's like an orange under eye corrector. You can get one, I know, is it LA Girl? Yeah, I think LA Girl sells one as well. Um, so I know they do exist in the drugstore, but like I said, this is the only one I own. So I put this on to correct my dark circles. I probably use more than I should, to be honest with you, but it works for me. So I'm just gonna keep doing what works for me. You really only have to put this on over the bluish parts. Um, of your dark circles if you have them. Okay, look already at the difference this makes. Isn't that crazy? Look at this side versus this side. Like, Panda Eye City, pretty normal on this side now, right? This is the Revlon Colorstay Whipped 24 Hours. This is in the shade Sand Beige. And I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge. I have been loving this sponge. You will see it in an upcoming favorites video. Now, this foundation I have used a little bit, but I have not used it too, too much. Um, when I used it a few times, I did like it. So we're gonna use it again. Oh, wait a minute. Now, I'm not gonna use my Real Techniques sponge. I'm gonna use my foundation brush. This is my new Tarte foundation brush. And so I'm gonna put this on and uh, work it in with this brush, and then I'll just go over it a little bit with the sponge afterwards just to make sure there's no like harsh lines or anything. I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. And this is in the shade Light. They don't have too many shades of this. Let me move my mirror a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm going to just conceal a little bit more under my dark circles just where I need it and then I have a little bit going on down here just a teensy bit and like I said I'm having a little bit of redness there and we will highlight a little bit on the forehead as well so um, wherever you need it just put your concealer whether you're highlighting or concealing use it for whatever okay. Okay, now one other thing. I don't have a eye primer from the drugstore 
and so I'm just going to use my concealer for that right now since I'm here. That's probably enough. Oops. Okay, so I'm just going to use the, you can use your finger for this too, but I'll just use this since I have it all over my eyelid. This will get rid of any like veininess you have poking through. Um, and it will also help your eyeshadow to adhere a little bit better. Again, you want it to be more long wearing if you're going to a party or if you have like an all day family thing, which is what we do every year. So you want your makeup to stay put. Now, what I have been loving lately is taking this e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder. As I'm taking the powder onto the tip of my sponge, and I'm just putting it loosely, you can see it's loose, right? All over my under eye. But it sucks it up so much that you, it's starting to go away. Like there won't be that much to dust away later. And this will prevent creasing for the whole day. Literally, this is the only thing that has ever worked for me um, to prevent creasing this particular powder and this method. Um, I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Crest Powder in 005 Silky Beige and this Real Techniques Big Powder Brush. The next thing I'm going to do, this is where it gets a little scary because I have not used this product ever before. So this is the NYC um, bronzing face powder in sunny now everybody talks about this this is what it looks like on the inside it's brand new okay i picked up this brush in uh winners which is like tj maxx it's just called Kala. Kala um angled contour 409 tap off some of that product for anyway i really like this for contouring this brush it's been excellent okay that's a little dark we're gonna have to blend that out a little bit It's not too bad though. You know, in the viewfinder when I'm watching myself, it always looks darker. But I think when it shows up, well, definitely in real life it's not that dark, but on the video I hope you don't see it as being crazy either. So I'm putting it right in the area right here where my top of my ear goes down to my mouth corner. And don't blend down, only ever blend up when you are using any kind of contouring product because if you blend down, you are losing the point of contouring, which is to create a shadow in the hollow of your cheek and make you look nice and skinny. Um, which is great for like when you're stuffing your face full of turkey and stuff like that. brush here but that's okay this is the elf blush palette in light I haven't decided what color I'm gonna use but that's what it looks like I think I want a warmer look for the holidays and with the eye look I'm going for is a little bit warmer too so let's use this one um, they don't have names this one is the only one that has a little bit of sparkle in it I'm going to cheat and use my morphe blush brush but you can use whatever blush brush you like and just apply that wherever you like to put your blush some people like to put it right on the apples of their cheeks and they smile and put it right here but the problem with that if you are a little bit more mature is sometimes when you smile then your cheek drops more than you want it to and so then your blush ends up down here so I like to apply it up here and just a little bit more right there so just put it wherever you want it. You guys, there's no rules. Do whatever you like. I'm going to dust off this eye powder. So it's quite simple. You can take a smaller brush, add some more powder on it, and then use that. Now some people do it that way. I just brush it away. It's completely up to what ends up looking good on you. Actually, a smaller brush would probably be better than this huge one, but this is what I have in front of me. Okay. So I like that. Uh, highlight. Let's get highlighty up in here. I like this one from the drugstore. This is my favorite drugstore highlighter. This is the Hard Candy Tiki Baked Bronzer. This is sold at Walmart. And I like this little Real Techniques brush for highlighting. So I just put a little bit 
on the side of it and I just barely touch the tops of my cheeks. This is really nice for the holidays. Um, highlighting, I mean, not this particular one in particular, but just highlighting because, again, you want to look glowy. You want to look, you know, Christmassy. So highlighter is really quite a nice thing to do. Okay, I have tried this and I was pretty impressed when I used it the first time. This is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Neutral Brown. So this is their answer to the whole Anastasia Brow Wiz thing, right? So you got the product on one side and spoolie on the other. This um, product though is a little bit thicker than the Anastasia one or my Urban Decay Brow Beater that I like. And so you gotta be a little bit more light handed with this. So that's what I'm going to do. This is the side that I've done. This is the side I have not done. So what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good, this product. Okay, so I could leave it there, but I'm just gonna do one more step, which is using this Rimmel Brow This Way um, gel. This is a tinted gel. I don't really know how I feel about this yet. This is in medium brown. It's okay. This is what the brush looks like. It's kind of small. Um, but you have to be so careful with tinted brow gels because sometimes the product deposits too much in one spot and that's what I don't like about them. They don't own a clear brow gel from the drugstore though. This is the only drugstore brow gel I have I believe. So I just wanted to use it for the purposes of this tutorial. Okay. So we're just lightly going over it. It gives it, it does give it a little bit more dimension when you have a tinted brow gel, I will say that, which is nice. What I'm going to be using is this e.l.f. smudge pot. This is in the color Cruise and Chic. This is a very, very neutral taupe. So all you do is you take your finger and it's a very creamy product. You just get it on your finger and lightly tap onto your eyelid. What I will say about this um, is it doesn't crease at all. I really, really like these. They're like $3, and if you get them on sale, obviously they're even cheaper, which is amazing. Um, how does e.l.f. do it? I don't know. They do a good job with a lot of things. So you just wanna make sure that you're kind of patting it so that you don't have any crazy harsh lines. So there you go. Okay, so so this could be a one and done product if you wanted it to be. It really could be. You could just leave it alone at that point. As long as it's blended on the edges, you could leave it alone. But we're gonna go in a few more things here. So this is the e.l.f. Need It Nude palette. I have never used this before, so this is gonna be a totally new experience. That's what it looks like. I'm going to use this right here in the crease. This is a still blending brush and I have noticed, can you guys see that? I've already hit it like seven times. <sighs> Crazy, okay. So I'm just going to use this on, to blend out the edges again some more and in the crease as a transition. Now we are going to put this down on the lid. These particular shades do not have names, so we're just going to point. And I'm just putting this over the smudge pot shadow. this e.l.f. contour brush it's called, but it's tiny. And we're going to take a little bit of this matte brown shade here. And again, tap off your brush. We're gonna work it just in the outer V a little bit.
Okay, changed my mind. We're actually gonna go with this one. This one isn't doing hardly anything for me, so we're going to go with this next darker one, which doesn't have uh, glitter, but it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, which is okay by me for this look. a little bit of this color here as an inner corner highlight. This is a Morphe M149. I do not have a tiny little drugstore brush, so I just have to go with what I have. Okay, now we're just going to do it quickly under the eyes. Let's take this brown again and this is going to be on an elf flat eyeliner brush so we're just going to put it right up against the lash line here I love using eyeliner, uh, eyeliner. I love using eyeshadow as eyeliner on the bottom because it's such a softer look than using actual eyeliner. And I'm just going to take this e.l.f. crease brush with a little bit more of that light pink peachy color and we're just going to um, blend that out a little bit with that color. Okay, there's the eye look. See, really neutral look, perfect for the holidays. There you have it. Okay, I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Precise by iStudio in black. This is a very pointy um, eyeliner brush that does not bend. So keep that in mind if you're using it. done is I've just made the thinnest little line across and then I just take the tip of it at the edge touch it down and go across sideways and that gives me a very very um, tiny little wing and for a neutral look like this that's what I like to do because you don't want to well I don't want to anyway have this crazy long wing when you're going for like a very neutral natural look Okay, and I've just um, lined my waterline with this Soft Coal Kajal Eyeliner Pencil from Rimmel. It's just in white. So normally I would wear false eyelashes, but because I'm not going anywhere today and I'm not feeling the greatest, I'm not going to put them on today. What I would recommend though is these Ardell Demi Wispies from the drugstore. These are awesome. I buy mine at Walmart. I just really, really love them. They're not too crazy dramatic. They just give you a little bit more length and lift. And I kind of like the way they give you a little bit of wing on the outside as well. So that's what I would recommend for a look like this. But for now, I'm just going to do regular mascara. And this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original, the non-waterproof one from the drugstore. like the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, but I also really like this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. I would say this is just as good as the Urban Decay one and way, way, way cheaper. So I'm just gonna spray it on my face and set my makeup. So here's the final look without any lipstick on. This is the eyes. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna give you two options because if you wanna just stay completely natural and neutral, you probably wanna go with a nude lip or a very pink lip. Um, what I've been loving is this Oh My Gloss from Rimmel which is super super glossy which I think is beautiful for like a holiday get together and this hard candy uh, what is this called plumping serum lipstick in beloved so I'm gonna do that for a neutral option but I'm also going to do a nice red lip too because everybody likes a holiday red lip right so because you've kept the eyes so neutral you can get away with doing a bright bright red lip so I'm gonna show you both options here So now that you've seen the neutral lip, I'm going to show you the red lip, which um, I'm using a lip liner for this one, which is Essence Lip Liner in 14 Femme Fatale. I'm going to use the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. This is a cream formula in certain red. So we're just gonna line my lips first. Okay, so I filled in my lips. By the way, these lips liners, lips liner, I can't say that word. Okay, so these lip liners are really, really nice. They're creamy and they are super cheap. Like this is only $2.99 or something at the drugstore. So I filled in my whole lips because I want my lipstick to stay longer on top. So this is the Revlon and certainly red. Look at this gorgeousness. So here is the final look with the red lip. All right, so if you do end up finding this tutorial helpful, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you do recreate this in any way, tag me on Instagram or Twitter. All my information is always in the description bar below. And I'd love to see what looks you guys come up with for the holidays. So I hope you guys have great holidays and Merry Christmas wherever you are. Thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you next time.